Governor Ibukunle Amerson of Ogun State has charged members of the Yewa Descendants Union in the United Kingdom and Ireland to key into the development projects back home in order to further strengthen the state's cultural and economic integration. Amazon, who spoke against the backdrop of the ongoing infrastructure development in the state, gave the charge yesterday at the first Yewa Descendants Union Day held in London, United Kingdom. He stated that his administration had embarked on various projects, especially in the areas of infrastructure, agriculture, health, education and tourism stressing the need for Ogun state indigents in the diaspora to bring their wealth of expertise to bear on the various development projects currently going on in the state. Well done, you are not doing this for yourself, but you are doing this for posterity to record you, that once upon a time, some of our people, they were here, they did this. Even the one that we are doing now, I know our elders, those that came before us, they did a lot of things like this. For me, what we are doing today, of course, we are making history, positive, good history of that. Without people, look at the number of miles. You did not say, because you are far away from home, you are not going to think about home. This is very good. It will only develop us. It will help us economically, socially. I've seen, of course, I'll talk about the culture too. In all facets of human endeavor, if people come together, they don't forget their roots. That is the best thing that can happen to a race. And I'm happy, I'm grateful that you are all doing this. It will help us to develop ourselves. We will all exchange ideas to know what can we do at home. And we will use all our exposure, all those things that we've gathered, in order of this, what I call, better climb, safe environment than where we are back home. We will use all of those experiences, all of those exposure to better our lot back home. So I congratulate you, I thank you. And I want to employ you, I don't want this to just be the maiden. I want it to happen from years to years, so that it will outlive us, so that even our kids, Generation Yentobo, will lash on this. I know that yearly we must come together like this. I am even happy to notice that they've said that they will be doing it on an annual basis. It will be like a convention, everybody will meet together like this. We will show who we are. We have a lot of things, but it is what we do with those things that the good Lord has given to us that will make a difference. During an interactive session with the union's members and indigents, the governor addressed the concerns of the people, ranging from security, employment generation, health, tourism, and the innovation in creating a one-stop shop for land allocation in the state. He said that government would always provide sites and services in already mapped out area before allocation is carried out so as to ease the burden of development. I mentioned it when we were talking, that nothing can be achieved in an environment that is unsecure. And one of the things, some of the things that one must do, even for investors to come, even for people that we are the locals, if there are no security, very few things will be achieved. And that was why, before even we came on board, it is difficult, even for sons and daughters of the soil, to come home. It is such that even I usually give this uh, personal experience that I have. Somebody who was serving as a senator came to see me and I just asked her when it was around eight that I think uh, you should be heading home now because you are going back to home. That is in Ogun State. Ah, and I said, eh? We never. We need I. We, I cannot go there. He even said some things that I now ask myself that, how? Oh, by 8 o'clock we can't go home. By 7, he said, eh, automatic this, that. But we thank God today that it is not that I will come here to tell you that, no, we don't have security challenges. Indeed, indeed there is nowhere in the world that we do not have security challenges. But truly, we are running around to make sure that we address security frontally. And one thing we've discussed too, we noticed too, is that security, when you just look at the hard form of attacking security, of solving security, you probably, in the final analysis, may not get the desired results. Part of what will reduce, uh, will give us what I call a secure environment, is when we create wealth for our people. When we make sure that our youth get employed. 
when we notice that everybody every day they have something doing because that is part of security when those things are not there believing you me when you run around i mean our father people will say idols uh, hand is devil's workshop so one of the things we are trying to do one is to look at what we call the soft approach to fighting security getting our people off the streets getting our youth particularly our youth getting them to be employed getting them to at least in a way not everybody will get all these white collar jobs and that is why today we are trying to place emphasis on vocational training on technical trainings indeed you will discover that these days even to build no mason no bricklayers bricklayers mason they are the same no carpenters welder we have now people that are unemployable which is a shame big shame even when we have job look at now we are talking about power they are privatizing power now when this thing happen even in our disco ibadan disco that covers oku state we do not have people that can take those roles so it's is a big problem but we are fighting it look at telecommunication when they started gsm they wanted to employ people then they need people with that it skill that can work for them to inform you now that yes we have our challenges but today ogun state is host to the largest industries in nigeria not lagos is ogun state now lagos yes when you talk about maybe services banks this that yes they do but when you talk about industries ogun state today we have the largest concentrations of industry every day people come every day people still want to come just yesterday we opened the first in sub saharan africa meter uh, manufacturing uh, uh, company it which the honorable minister for trade and investment came to do i was busy yesterday i couldn't uh, attend that so security we are running around to make sure that at least we make sure that our state is relatively secured and in nigeria today i'm not saying we are first no but before you count 1 2 3 they will tell you that ogun state is secured ogun state is conducive for doing business and probably for living but we are not yet there we will continue to strive and make sure that uh, we sort all of those uh, little little issues out it is challenging us every day we said we are going to employ 10000 youths when we came in people misread that to mean that all the 10000 will be white collar indeed we were pushed more or less to now have white collar i think about 8 as we speak we were employed over even 30000 but what people consider to be employment is you must be in civil service no if you are part of those that works even in the environment or maybe in our farm we have farm settlement that we are creating now those that have been there that is moribund we are recreating them we want our quad graduates to be employers of labor themselves in collaboration with the bank of industries because people are asking me about the youth we encourage them to be themselves we we now have what we call industrial clusters we call unfortunately my commissioner for commerce is not here they call him otumba oni joko joko we call those places uh, industrial clusters we will have one one in each of the senatorial districts what do bank of industries do for us we put down half a billion they give us another half a billion we now get graduates we encourage them to go to farm we get them that if you give you every month we'll give you some money maybe about 5 million you we we'll give you land we tell you what you want to plant in the same vein Oba Kehinde Olubenle, the paramount ruler of Yewa land, called on the union members to return home and partner with the state government to develop their various communities. I want to tell uh, Yewa in diaspora that their home is home. Uh, nobody will build your home. The way you live it is the way you will meet it. So the time has come for them to come back home and partner with their various community and see how they can impact uh, on the various uh, community on the terms of development and the rest of them government alone cannot do everything that is the most important thing i want to relate to them you cannot sit down here in diaspora and expect government to provide everything you uh, yes uh, everything works here the system is okay but then we will encourage them to come back home and share their experience their exposure with our people so that uh, together 
uh, we can make home a place worth living. Uh, like my people will say, Ajo, Kuli Dabile. One day they will say, the, the body will tell them, uh, you have to be, you have to come back home. And all our children that uh, most of them, by God's grace, are giving back here. That is need for them to uh, to begin to link them back to their roots. Yes, you can. Anybody can have a bath anywhere, but your roots is your root. Alud Benle also tasked parents on the need to educate their children on the customs and tradition of the Yewa people, saying that even though they are born abroad, they should be able to connect with their roots. He further expressed the hope that a similar Yewa Day initiative would be launched in the US and Canada by the indigents resident in those countries. Similarly, Senator Eyabo Anisilowo, who is also an indigent of Yewa land, listed investment in agriculture and waterways as peculiar areas that Yewa indigents in the diaspora could explore. Well, uh, there's so many areas actually. Agriculture is one major area which I will want uh, those here to, to invest in because it is an area where you need a lot of land and we have land, we have water, expansive as expansive uh, water area in Yewa land and also we have sand. We have sand apart from other mineral resources like the kaolin which we have. You know we have large deposit of cement which has is being explored by by Dangote now. We have the Dangote industries in uh, in in uh, Ibeshe. We also have sugar you know where you have cement you always have the sugar cane it's a sugar cane belt where an industry could be put up there for for the processes of the of sugar cane into sugar into sugar and uh, that is very very keen and key to our interest you understand me those in attendance were traditional rulers from Yewa land present and past federal and state legislators businessmen and women youth indigents and friends of Yewa land in the United Kingdom and Ireland.